Jose Aldo, he had to pull out because of the visa issues. But the event's not even going to happen. But yeah. seems like they're they're hell bent on giving Dominic Cruz a title shot. He hasn't fought in what three, four years now. Man, does that? Yeah. What do you think of when you see that? When you see the news and you're like, is this e- is this even real? Is this just like the coronavirus it's just taking real. over? Yeah, I mean, maybe Dominic, maybe Dominic was the only guy that was there. I I don't know. You know, so there's a lot of times when I'm like, you know, you go process. They're like, oh, this guy deserves a shot. This guy deserves a shot. I'm like, well, that, actually, that guy's hurt, and you know that that guy, uh, you know, fought a bum. Like he doesn't deserve the shot. You know, like but recently they're like, how is Jose Aldo getting the title shot? I'm like, well, Aljamain Sterling should have been number one, but he was hurt. Peter Yan just beat Uriah Faber, which that doesn't really qualify for like a title shot, and. Like, who's, like, one of the absolute number one pound-for-pound pound best guys in the world who arguably beat the number one guy in the world at Bantamweight? It's Jose Aldo. So, I mean, I, that fight made sense to me when you really looked, when you started, like, working through the process of elimination. But Dominic Cruz, I can't. I, I'm a huge Dominic Cruz fan, but I can't get behind that. You know what I mean? Like, who, I mean, who is Dominic? How much has, how much has this weight class changed in the last three years since he's been gone? You know what I mean? Does he really think he's going to come back and compete? Like, I don't know. I mean, I think he's going to get his ass whooped. You know, I really, I honestly believe that. Like, I just think there's too much. Like, everyone's evolved. Everyone can fight from both stances. Dominic, like, everyone can wrestle and, you know what I mean, and strike. You know, everything he did worked because he was the first one to do it. But now everyone does what he does. You know, not exactly the way he does. Like, but, you know, people can switch stances. Corey Sanhagen is like, a better version of Dominic Cruz, you know? So I don't know. It's hard. Uh, it's hard to say. It's just, uh, you know, if, if you, if you got the right, you either you have the right pull and uh, it makes sense and they can make money. The UFC is going to do it. I mean, they're a business. Ultimately they got to make money. Like that's the job. They got to put, you know, cheeks and seats. So I I am 100%. I'd never blame the UFC, but, Obviously, as a fan of MMA, I'm like, eh, that doesn't make sense. But hell, shit, I'll watch it. I mean, that Dominic Cruz, Dominic Cruz, uh, Henry Cejudo, that fight doesn't make any sense. But I would still watch it because they're both awesome. Like, I would love to watch that fight. You know, being a like, I have to sometimes separate myself as a fan and as a fighter. You know, what I mean, as a fighter, I'm like, that's bullshit. Someone else should get that shot. But as a fan, I'm like, shit, that doesn't make any sense. But it's probably a pretty awesome fight. You know, so. It's a crazy sport. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, but one one thing on the bright side of it is everything's flipped on its head, so you don't even know if that fight's going to even happen. Uh, an opportunity. No, can, I don't think yeah, so. Opportunity can come, and uh, you don't know when they're going to get back to doing shows. Well,